Hi everyone, this is Professor Smith, and here's a little recording on how to work with this site for our assignment. So to make sure that you're in the right, what we call a contest, you want to look for Spring 2022 TRCC. Remember, you're going to have $100,000 of play money to trade, and the first thing you're going to want to do is click on Make a Trade. Okay, so if you hover your mouse over that, you're going to see that this site supports stocks, so that's share of individual companies that trade on the U.S. stock markets. ETFs are a special type of fund. We'll talk about that. And then it also supports crypto trading, so that's totally optional if you want to engage in that. So I, I recommend most people focus on stocks and ETFs. Okay, so if I want to buy something, that's the most basic thing I can do to start this activity. So I'm going to click on stocks, ETFs, cryptos. Now, if I look at these drop-down boxes here, this one that says action, most of what we're going to do is either simply buying or selling. So since you're starting with 100000 in cash and no stocks, the only thing you can do is buy. So I'm going to click buy. Now, every single stock or fund, which is an ETF, that stands for an exchange-traded fund, has a symbol. Okay, so for example, Google is G-O-O-G. And you will see if you type in the symbol, it will give you, usually it's the first the first uh, item in the drop-down is going to be the correct company that you want to buy. How about if you wanted to buy Apple? That's A-A-P-L. Okay, you can find those um, on Google, for example, if you just type in symbol for, you know, stock symbol for company X, you'll find it. I'm going to trade just because it's been in the news a lot, an oil company, ExxonMobil, which is X-O-M. Okay, so what you do is you click on, again, that first option, and then scroll down to this little stock quote below. Now, here's how you interpret this, guys. This last price here is the price, the dollar price you would pay for one single share. Okay, so right now, okay, this stock is trading. Don't worry too much about this bid-ask difference. It's a little bit more advanced. Just think of this stock as trading for about $76.79 for a single share. Now here's one way to, th to think about using your $100,000. If you had around seven or $8,000, for example, into 12 stocks, that would spend about $96,000 of your uh, portfolio. So kind of one way to get started is to think about, okay, maybe I wanna buy one, one stock or one fund, and I'm going to spend about, let's say, at most $8,000, okay? So to figure that out, this quantity box is the number of shares that you want to purchase. So if I click on this calculator, let's suppose, okay, I want to spend $8,000 total of my portfolio on ExxonMobil, all right? So what I would do is I would type in 8000 that's the number of dollars I want to spend, and I'm going to divide that by the per share price to get the quantity of shares that I'm going to order. Okay, so I'm going to put in 76.79. Uh, if it allows decimals, maybe it does not. So I'll just kind of do a whole number here. So that's about 105 shares. Okay, so if I put in 105 here, that's going to be the number of ExxonMobil shares that I'm going to buy. Now let's click on this order type here. I'll probably come back and do another video about these other options uh, later on. A market order means just, just execute the trade at the best available price. Okay, so I'm going to click market. Now notice these other boxes here are shaded out. The way that market orders work on this site is they execute during what we call standard trading hours, which is Monday through Friday, 9.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay, so what's going to happen is since I'm recording this video before 4 p.m., I should be able to execute this trade and get it into my portfolio right now. If you make a trade like I'm doing right now, and it's outside of 9.30 a.m. to 4 p.m., I believe it's going to queue overnight, and it's going to execute the next business day, okay? So that means if you start doing this assignment, for example, on Friday night before a Saturday deadline, it's going to be too late because you wouldn't have a trade made until the following Monday, okay? 
So notice how I'm spending about 8,000 bucks, as we predicted, on 105 shares. Now suppose I decide, hmm, you know, that's a little bit more money than I want to spend. Um, if I change this to 100, okay, and let's say I preview again, notice how I'm spending a little bit now less because I'm buying fewer shares, okay? So you can kind of play with that. Notice how also there's a commission charge that's deducted from your 100,000 of $10 for every trade, okay? So if I click if I click on click to confirm, I'm going to spend that much money approximately to buy these 100 shares. So I'm going to click that. Okay, so now it gives me a confirmation. Now what I'm going to do to see if it actually executed yet, I'm going to go over to my portfolio. Okay, if you click on open positions. Okay, now let's interpret this screen. You now own the 100 shares. Okay. It tells you uh, the, the change in the price of the per share. That's what this day's change is. So ExxonMobil is up on the day. Okay, and literally in the seconds that have executed here, right, there's been a little bit of price appreciation. So I've actually made a little bit of money, and that's what the profit and loss column is going to tell you. Okay, <clears throat> now suppose I wanted to sell some of my ExxonMobil. Okay, I would go into the screen here, and I could click Trade, and that I think will take you right back. Okay, so now let's suppose I say, you know, 100 shares is too many. I only want to have 50 shares. So that's about half of what we call the position. Okay, so I'm going to click Sell. It's a de it defaults to sell since I'm trading that ExxonMobil that I had previously bought. And let's say I want to I want to sell half of my shares. I would put in 50, which is half of the shares. Okay. Notice how every few seconds you get a different price quote. You know, this is not uh, a site that gives you literally updating by the second, so it might show you the same data that it did a few minutes ago. Okay, if I click to preview this order, let's see what happens. Okay, I always read what it's about to actually do. This is how an actual brokerage site would work. Okay, so I'm going to be selling 50 shares of my ExxonMobil. I'm going to pay another $10 commission. Okay. And if I click to confirm, notice how I'm going to be receiving back 38.18 in cash. All right, so let's click to confirm that order. All right, and now let's see if it updates your portfolio. All right, so click on open positions. <clears throat> and lo and behold, we now own exactly 50 shares because we sold 50 of the original 100 that we bought. Okay. So let's suppose I wanted to make, I'll make one more trade. So I'm going to go to make a trade. Let's suppose I want to have a fixed income mutual fund. One of the most widely traded fixed income funds in the world is what we call the AG, A-G-G. -G. Okay. So this is instead of stocks, this is a fund that tracks the bond market, okay, which you can read more about in your chapter. Each share trades for $109. Okay, so let's suppose I want to have about $1,000 worth of this fund and fund in my portfolio. That would be about 10 shares, right? So I could do quantity 10, all right, at the market price. Click to preview. Notice how, again, I'm being charged that $10 commission. It's a minus because I'm buying these shares. All right, let's go ahead and click to confirm. All right, it says it was received, order placed successfully. So again, let's go to my portfolio, click on open positions. Okay, so now you're actually building your portfolio. You now have the 50 shares of ExxonMobil from our previous trades. And you now have 10 shares of this, this um, fixed income mutual fund or ETF that we call the AG. Okay, the, um, the arrows here tell you whether you're making or losing money. So, so far, 
right? ExxonMobil is increasing in value on the day. We've made a little bit of money. And I can see that the ag is down a little bit, so I'm losing a little bit on the ag so far. If you want to see how much cash you have, you go back to My Portfolio, go down to Account Balances, and notice how in net we've spent around 5,000 or so, so that's why we still have a cash balance of about 95,000. Okay, and this line here, the market value of your long positions, that's the value of all the stocks and funds that you own. What's the market value of all of those shares at the moment? Okay, so I can then scroll down. And literally in the seconds that I've recorded this video and made these trades for you guys, right, it looks like um, I'm down a little bit. It appears to be at this top point in time. So that's how you make a basic buy and sell trade. That's how you view your portfolio and keep track of it. And that's how you can tell how much cash that you have left.